Hello, this is JG Dell Laptop, and I'm going to be showing you how to create your own Linux operating system. So the first thing that you're going to have to do is go to your internet browser, or Safari. And you're going to go to, I'm already here, but you need to go to susestudio.com. That's www.susestudio.com. So once you go in here, you're going to go up to this corner and create, select create account slash sign in. After you do that, it will click sign in with one of these three. Okay, then you're going to put your ID information, your information. And click sign in. And then click agree to verify this website. Okay, so mine already started up, but usually it will ask you to uh, apply for an invitation. It will send it to your email within um, 10 to 15 minutes. Sometimes if they're really packed, it might be up to one hour to two hours. But usually mine came in within two minutes. So when it starts up, it's going to ask you to create a new appliance. So just pick any one you want. There's many different varieties. You could just do the GEOS operating system or the JE operating system, a server text only base, minimal X, Genome desktop, and KDE4 desktop. You could also do Enterprise 11s and Enterprise 10s. You could also choose from 32-bit and 64-bit. So I already created one. And I put it to a CD. I actually have many of them. This is one that I built. And you could see that you could click start. You could add your name. Go to software. You add all the Linux software that you prefer. These are the ones that I prefer with uh, Linux. You could go to configuration and configure to your language, keyboard layout, region, time zone, network, firewall, users, and groups. And then you could personalize it to your own icon. This is my own icon. Yes, I know. This is my own icon. I created it. And you could set a background up for you and your own console color. And you could go to startup and click your run level. You have choices from 1 through 5. And you could go to server, customize that. Set up MSQL for those people who love using MSQL and the desktop, appliances for how much memory you're going to use in VMware, disk size and disk image, and then scripts if you are an advanced user and you know how to use scripts. Overlaying files and once you're done you will click build. Now you could click any one of these formats, live CD slash DVD which is ISO, USB stick slash hard disk image, VMware slash virtual box which is dot BMDK or Zen Guess. I prefer ISO, but you could click any one of these. You can also click all the other formats. So what this will do is it will make a type of file that's compatible with ISO, .BMDK, Zen, and also USB stick and hard drive. You click your version, and this will be displayed on your console of what version you have. So thanks for watching. Bye.